the governor called. She's running as a Larry Hogan Republican. Congratulated me and, and we're going to get together soon and talk about how he can help us. And, and she's doing it with his project. blessing. One day after winning the GOP nomination in Maryland's open U.S. Senate race, Kathy Shalega pivots toward November. As I'm out in the community, people are saying, you know what, Kathy, I'm worried about my job. I'm worried about putting gas in my tank. You know, I'm worried about the safety of my children. The 54-year-old focused on economic issues rather than social ones, sounding Hogan-esque. And if she gets his campaign machine behind her. It's the smart people who ran that campaign, the smart people who understood how to reach out to independents, to stay on message, and to even pick away some of those conservative Democrats. That is a kind of key to victory for Kathy Shalega. As for the Democrat in this high-profile contest. How's it going for you? Goucher pollster Dr. Malia Cromer says Congressman Chris Van Hollen can't take any anything for granted. And he knows it, said as much in his victory speech last night. So we're going to have to work very hard in every part of the state, in every corner of the state. Sometimes Democrats only campaign in the big Democratic areas. We've got to campaign for every vote in every part of this state. It's really, really important for Chris Van Hollen to continue to campaign, continue to be engaging Democrats, be staying on message, talking about progressive issues, and making sure that Democrats stay fully engaged with this process the entire way through November. It's an expensive process, and outside money can help Kathy Shalega narrow the fundraising gap. Her campaign told us today that Shalega has spoken to and has been endorsed by two political action committees, View PAC and Right Now PAC. They are both devoted to getting Republican women in elected office. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.